Good evening, P2 in race two here at Snetter, a broken trophy, and uh, but still good to get some good points for the championship ahead of uh, a lot of your championship rivals too. No, it was P3. Um, obviously, starting 11th, it was it was quite interesting. Um, didn't really expect we would be on the podium in that race, so it's just trying to get into the top eight so we can get them points in the championship. But we got a very good start initially. Uh, was able to just weave weave through some people, but got held up, and then I saw. Alex just get find a spot and just get past all of us and I was so gutted but then um, kept pushing on and we was able to, to to get past them again and then yeah it was maintaining the, the speed until the safety car I was just praying because there was so many there was such a big gap between first and second to second and third so yeah very happy um, good points as well in the championship so crucial in the long run and team have been doing an awesome job the car's been good yeah, excited for later on's race because uh, we're on the front row, obviously, with Alex, the main title rival, and um, James literally just behind me. So if we can get a good start and get in front, then we should be OK. But it's F4 racing, anything can happen, really. And you've come from sim racing, so where did this speed in, in wet conditions come from? Because sim racing is not usually known for wet conditions. Yes, so... I've been karting since five. Well, I've been racing since five and done karting from five till 13. And me and my dad, it was literally just me and my dad as a privateer and we couldn't actually afford wets. So he had to send me out on slick tires in the, in the wet. And yeah, that's he just let me do laps and laps and laps. And yeah, initially you, you've got to kind of find the grip. And yeah, we got a very old set of wets given to us after someone used them multiple times. and. Yeah, that was that was the first time using wets and was was quite quick. So the wet is also fun. It dry, it shows you your actual true talent. I, I say uh, as a driver, um, because the fastest car doesn't really matter. It does help in the wet, but um, yeah, you have to really search for the grip as a as a natural natural thing to you. So yeah, I I enjoy the wet, and if you're scared of the wet, then you end up doing doing bad. And if you if you just get along with it, you end up doing well. And how do you appreciate and learn where the grip is, particularly at the start when you're in the midfield and trying to pick your way through the field too? So you've only got that outlap really, but initially you just end up doing all the wet lines and the, it, it can, tends to be the best, but it's also getting the, the, the right temperature into the tyres so you can actually push uh, some minimum speed and also when you cross over the, the slippery surface part, which is the racing line, to get on, over to the drier part, um, you have to manage to like be progressive with the throttle and um, not not just be keeping it pinned and just drifting and spinning. So yeah, it, it's it's enjoyable and obviously Snetterton's a, a very technical circuit, so you have to really it makes a lot of things interesting. So yeah, really happy. Support from Rockets also been amazing. So yeah, let's let's keep going and hopefully we can bring that top step home later on. And is there an extra emphasis on protecting the rear tyres here, particularly with the, all the heavy traction zones, especially at the final turn? Um, to be honest, if you hit, like, traction, it's very slippery as you get on the power because you're trying to cross over the, the, the dry, like, your dry line part, which is the slipperiest. And if you go on to, to an exit curve because they're freshly painted, um, yeah, you end up sliding even more. So you have to really positioning yourself well and that, that's where the time's found and getting the fastest lap which is another point is is, is good for us so yeah happy and yeah let's let's see what we can do later and of course alex is uh, your nearest rival in the championship are you, are you focusing too much on him and the other championship rivals yet uh to be honest no my goal is trying to get the most points over a weekend and that can extend the gap but we've we've got I'm not sure, I, th I think it's a 38 point lead, um, which is really good, but we, we, we can't afford losing a 25 point to, to Alex or, or James, So, because then th that would close in the gap really massively. So it's biding your time slowly, um, and that's, 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 that's it really. And you're on the front row for race through the weekend later on, and it's been a, a tricky weekend with all the, the rain and so on this weekend at Snet, so, but this is a perfect opportunity to get another trophy. Yes, if we get another trophy it's nice, but 
Uh, I'm, I'm going for that win. Um, there's no excuses really. Um, if we have a tough battle till the end and we get a second, then fair play. But we're, we're, I'm, I'm 100% going for that win. Um, I, th I reckon Alex is also. So yeah, let, let's see what we can do. Um, it's F4 racing. Literally anything can happen. Look at Brian's Hatch Indy last uh, two weeks two weeks back. Last lap, last corner, pretty much. So yeah, very excited. Thanks so much. Thank you.